shocked, angry. That's how state senators feel about the early release of hundreds of Nebraska inmates. Even violent offenders who had no business walking free early. And new proof that the Department of Corrections knew about it. KETV News Watch 7's Adrian Whitsett joins us live. Brandy, according to some recently released emails, corrections had their own right way of calculating sentences despite a Supreme Court ruling. In one case, shortening a sentence by 12 and a half years. Bob Chris, the state senator, says the emails show corrections, quote, chose to ignore what the Supreme Court said needed to be done, end quote. Bo McCoy calls them disappointing and says it appears at least one person interpreted the ruling in a way that doesn't line up with common sense or conventional wisdom. Emails recently released from the Attorney General's office dealing with how the Department of Corrections calculated prisoner release dates. A February 8, 2013 ruling from the Supreme Court added more years to those calculations. And that same day, records manager Janine Douglas, after conferring with an assistant attorney general, Linda Willard, decided they'd continue to calculate the way they've always done. That it would be a real mess to have to go back in and recalculate everyone who has mandatory minimum sentences. In a separate email from Douglas, she wrote, It would also serve the director's desires as well to not increase our population any more than we must. I'm not just shocked, but I'm, I'm angered in the sense of what uh, they've been keeping, not just from us, the legislature, but the taxpayers. State Senator Heath Mello is surely not alone in his feelings about this disclosure. We now know that there apparently was a policy to get people out, even violent offenders, out prior to their release date. Yeah, I don't I'm understand it. It's, it's extremely, uh, extremely serious. Unacceptable because you know, these are very dangerous uh, criminals who are back out on the streets, and uh, I think the law is very clear that they shouldn't have been. Janine Douglas did not return our calls. The governor's office said the department is still in the process of finding out what went wrong. We want those facts as they consider what action would be appropriate. As it relates to these emails and the early release of 306 inmates since 1995. Mello says this stack just scratches the surface. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And right now, there's an awful lot of smoke coming from the Department of Corrections. I'm concerned in regards to where this is going to lead in regards to right now, what we know is bureaucrats uh, took it upon themselves uh, to disregard state law. Mello and Ashford serve on the committee tasked with finding out why Nico Jenkins was released nearly one year ago before a murder spree. State Senator Steve Lathrop, the chair of that committee, told me they have already subpoenaed records and in light of these emails, will likely need to call back in former director Bob Housen and Janine Douglas to find out what their motivation was, if there was indeed a strategy at corrections to reduce overcrowding. Back to you. Thanks, Adrian.